Hello, it is, I don't even know what today is, I just know it's 1 o'clock, I don't, I really don't know what today is, too many days, oh, let me see, I hate when I don't know what day it is, so hold on, just, how do I get to my, excuse me, calendar, I know it's the, what, what is today's day, 24th. Thursday. Happy Thursday. Lord, I didn't even know it was Thursday. It's been one of those <laughs> almost, yeah, it's been a week. Let's see here. So I have the whelps on my back. Um, st I'm not running too bad of a fever, but I can tell it's a low grade. Which, I mean, I have low body temperature. I think we all do, actually, with when we go into second and late stage chronic, which um, <coughs> Lyme disease and co-infections gives you low body temperature. I've had low body temperature since since I was in my middle to late twenties. No, middle twenties, early to middle twenties. I'm gonna say so. Uh, but I could tell I'm still running fever, but that's kind of hard to. I don't even wanna go there. It's just been a long week. I got maybe two hours of sleep last night on the couch. Um, I am going through a Lyme rage where I'm just irritated, the wrong thing said, and I'm off the I'm literally just on all levels of the roller coaster of anger. Um, <laughs> I mean, I was in a good mood yesterday afternoon, minus not sleep. But, and then this car, my husband got the part for it, an adapter for it, as, you know, when, if, I'm not even going to go and explain that. And it was very, very small little spot. He missed the hole in the, um, in the, in the old line. And so I'm like, oh, here, here she is still sitting on ramps. I'm trying to watch my anger because it can flare real bad. Yesterday was a very bad day. Just the last thing you want is somebody in a mood to get snippy with someone who has Lyme rage. <laughs> and then just go off the chain and I went off the chain not talking to my husband haven't spoke to him since yesterday afternoon didn't talk to him last night I woke up at 3 made his lunch made his coffee woke him he was supposed to get up at 3.15 I woke him up at 4.15 said your coffee's ready your lunch is ready you got 15 minutes get out still not speaking to him I'm gonna put it like that I'm not tickled and happy with him. We're just not. No. You don't come home with an attitude and take it out on me. So, my lime rage went skyrocketing. And I'm still very upset with him for the things he said because he had a bad day at work. But I'm going to get off that. But lime rage, I haven't had a lime rage since I took everything out of my house two years ago and burnt it. I mean, yeah, we all get a little raging, but a severe rage? Yeah, I haven't had one of the bad, bad ones in about two years. But, um, I keep forgetting I have CBD oil, CBD oil syrup and CBD uh, cream, rub, whatever. Because my stupid, it's just, I, was, I did not, I was up Friday, didn't sleep Friday night, was up all Saturday, didn't, and slept Saturday night, first time I did the CBD. Then I was up Sunday, Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, Tuesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday, which was yesterday, and I slept a couple hours last night. I'm hoping I'll peter out sooner or later, but now I'm on this adrenaline of anger. And I'm trying to just let it go. Because you can get in a rage 
over yourself of because you can't get things done and accomplished or you others or both combination of both and yesterday was others also um i'm going to say these whelps on my back which are still on my back um it's a combination of two things i'm, I'm saying and i think they drive together the bird i touched <clears throat> Two hours later is when I started having, I was starting to itch, then I had whelps, then I started a low-grade fever, then my guts went AWOL, my back started throbbing. Um, it's it, Yesterday, I spent all day doing that yesterday, too, it, ever since I touched the bird, whenever that, I uploaded the film on the bird through Facebook, whenever that was. Um not only that but i have not i have been out of my mold and my allergy vials for a month because i have no insurance so i can't go see the doctor and i can't pay to get my vials because i have two vials of mold shots two vials of allergy shots because allergic to everything so all i'm on is my zyrtec that i was supposed to take on off days you know i take my allergy shots on monday mold shots on tuesday but also on tuesday i took the zyrtec the allergy so i think it's a combination of touching the bird since it happened two hours after and then i started feeling bad and on top of having no allergy or mold vial shots not only that thank god it's not really breezy today because we've had how would i put it it's like a fog and i can't really get a good picture of it on my phone when I record it or on the cam um, on the PC it's like when the breeze blows because these pines have a new pine needle everything's just blooming and on a good breeze you see it's like a fog that comes in and it's not fog it's a fog of yellow pollen flowing whatever direction the wind blows you see it in the sky big old wave of yellow pollen and I'm like oh my god trust me my car is covered it my car looks yellow and then when it rained one day this weekend this week all the pollen off the roof was down here on the on the ground and all along the water was yellow pollen or the puddle of water was nothing but yellow i'm like oh my god look at all this pollen and i'm constantly washing off my porch because <laughs> especially at that end right now it is nothing but covered in pollen so i'm every other day washing my porch off from this pollen so um i'm pretty much staying inside as much as possible but like i say i keep my house dark so you can't see in that house it's that dark you got to turn on a light and i prefer not to it is hot and it is muggy today but my headache's gone I still feel feverish, but it's not as bad as it was where I was pouring sweat fever. The whelps are still with me. My guts have finally eased. I'm not going to touch no more birds. <laughs> and I know not to be outside on breezy days because of the mist of pollen. And I wish I could get a good video of it. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. If Nothing but a big old mist of pollen. Just blowing. <laughs> like a but I don't know I don't know just I've been in a since yesterday afternoon in a state of anger and frustration and things I'd rather not discuss on here of why I'm frustrated and angry and I don't know just everything's just aggravating me recently and i hate it but i try to keep calm and like i said i i have put my c i keep forgetting i put my cbd oil and stuff up in my cabinet and i usually don't go to my medicine cabinet at all that's the spare supplements and oils and stuff and i keep forgetting i have it until i go in there for i don't really know why i go in there i just open it and go oh but today I, this morning i spotted it i'm like oh, come here so i put it up on my bar today so i remember it's there 
I have really nothing good to say about my day. I have not or week for that matter. This week has went so fast and I don't, I cannot even, I just know bits and I just know pictures of this week. And I'm still plugging through with Saturday night and a couple hours last night sleep. And I'm hoping I peter out soon, but I don't know. I'm just, there is no informative anything to say today. Except I'm alive, I've got air in my lungs. I'm seeing the beauty of outside that I'm really not supposed to be in. <laughs> Other than that, hopefully you guys have a great day. Get out, have lesser pain than in symptoms than you did yesterday or last night. Find your shimmy, your shake, your sprinkle, your sparkle, and a silver lining. <sighs> I'm alive. There's my silver lining. I'm alive. I'm just trying to keep my anger and frustration down. So I don't I'm just so fed up. It's just so fed up. But I'm going to go in here and I'm going to down the rest of this syrup, CBD old syrup. And let's see where that takes me. Um, Jamie, I said I'd properly thank you again for the, well, thank your mother-in-law. I think you said mother-in-law for the um, brain fart here. The green thing. On my mind, I can't even think what it is. Um, <laughs> the green thing, please thank her. Um, yes, I understand. I can sew too. I am so like you since, and I, and Jen, I think could probably, cause she's got neck issues too. Ever since the broke neck and any, any form of injuries in your spine, depending on if you lean back or forward. Now, yeah, I can lean my neck down. That's about, well, if I do this, it's about as far as I can get it. But if I, and if I force, if I stay that way or force it further, it draws up my back muscles and also locks my neck up where I can't turn it. So I get it. I can sew too, but it's the point of doing that and my hands, like when I do writing, it's only a two to three minute writing session and then that's it because my hands go completely dead and now I can't do anything. So a lot of things I can't do at a long period of time with my hands because it's like, pfft, no. So I get it. But thank her for me and thank you for sending that. Also, I'm still saying thank you, Michelle, um, Lindsay Johnson. I think I said that right. Boy, my brain's gone. Like sleep, I'm fried. Um. Thank you for everything you've done. Can't say it out loud or on here. Definitely thank you. It, it, it's gotten me. It It's gotten me through. I'm just trying to find some form of quiet in here. Peace. And try and get the frustration and anger out before it before it does bad. That's how I'll put that. Other than that, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm praying I feel better this afternoon. I don't know. Only God knows. Other than that, I love you. Have a good day.